The Q presents On the Ground. Hey, welcome everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are really excited for the second year in a row to be at the Anita Board Women of Vision Awards uh, 2016. It's a phenomenal banquet evening, really celebrating companies, women, students, and, and everyone that's really contributing to the Women in Tech show. This is a small event, different than the Grace Hopper event, which we'll be back to in Houston uh, in uh, October. So we're really excited. Our very first guest, the Student uh, Award winner, Alicia Jovalanos, uh, welcome. Thank you so much, I'm so excited to be here. Awesome, so you're a sophomore at McMaster University in Ontario, Canada. Yep. So how did you first hear about Anita Borg? Talk about the process, you've said a couple times since we've been sitting here that how excited you are. What, is this, what does this mean to you? How's the process? How did you get here today? Wow, well, <laughs> a little bit of that I'm, I'm covering in my speech is kind of an unconventional way that I got to computer science in general, but uh, how I found out about uh, the Anita Borg Institute I actually found out about it uh, on an online community called Lady Storm Hackathons. It's a Facebook community um, where plenty of women all across the world, in the US, Canada, everywhere, they kind of join and they talk about um, different awards that are available, events that are going on, and that's how I find, found out about um, the Student of Vision Award. Okay. And uh, I applied, and I guess I'm here now. Awesome, so. and here you are, congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much. So how about computer science? So. Uh, for the folks out there, how did you get into computer science? Share a little bit your story um, of, of how you entered that field. So I entered computer science quite late into the game, I'd say, in comparison to a lot of my fields, uh, sorry, my peers. Um, I started programming when I was 18, I'm 19 now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, so I originally was on the path to medical school. Um, I didn't really know what computer science was in high school. My high school was the only one in um, a school district that didn't offer a single computer science course. And I didn't grow up around engineers or no one really worked with computers for a living around me. So I didn't know what this whole paradigm of computer Wait, science was. Wait, so your high school was the only one that didn't offer computer yeah, science? And here you are now the award winner. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. So it's, it's absolutely unbelievable for me to, uh, I'm just still taking this in. Um, and I'm just so happy to be here. Right, so okay, so you go to school, you're thinking you're pre-med. Yep. If I had to guess, I would guess you ran into OCHEM, because I know that's the great killer of, uh, of most pre-med students. How did you make the change over to computer science from pre-med? Well, um, I wasn't in the, the pre-med program, but um, during high school is kind of what I prepared for. So in grade nine, I took one of those career questionnaires, um, and one of the top choices that I got was doctor. And I told my parents, and of course, when you tell your parents that, um, that doctor could be a choice for your child. They get really they supportive. Jump, they jumped on that, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah, <laughs> do it for sure. And they're so supportive, and I didn't really know anything else. So um, I was always good at the sciences. Um, so naturally, I fell into that path. But uh, I, I wasn't really honest with myself. I felt like I, I couldn't really envision myself being a doctor for the rest of my life. Um, my, I liked those things, but I couldn't find my passion. Okay. Um, and it wasn't until that I met by chance, my, my brother actually started dating a girl who studied computer science, and I was a nosy little sister, so I asked her a lot of questions, and uh, I found out about her career uh, as a software engineer and what she did, and I thought that was really cool. So that borderline interrogation turned into <laughs> um, a life-changing, pivotal moment for me to consider computer science as a career, and I last minute applied to a computer science program at uh, one of the top engineering schools in Canada, and uh, surprisingly, I got in, and I have been practicing ever since and loving it. So what is it that you love about computer science now that you're in it? I mean, you had kind of a vision based on, on yeah. your brother's girlfriend about what she did, but now that you've actually touched it and, and been a part of it, what is it about computer science that makes you so I think, excited? I think it's the impact that, that computer science can have. I think it's crazy that you can create applications just by typing out text through a screen and it can literally affect millions of people. Um, I kind of experienced that sort of thing firsthand when I did my first work term, it was a research term at my university, and I spent the summer um, developing tools to teach children how to code, and um, to date it's been used by over 4,000 students. So that to me was incredible, and that experience alone was enough for me to keep me there. I thought, wow. I, I can do so much with this, and I have a lot of fun with the math, so. <laughs> That's great. Um, it's, I, I just love it. It's, I'm so excited, and I 
feel like I've, I've found my passion. That's terrific. And one of, the, you know, one of the things we talk about a lot when it comes to women in tech is, mm -hmm. you know, when should they get involved? How should they get involved? How do you get over kind of the, the negative geeky portion, not necessarily the positive, you know, geek portion? So you, you actually built an application to help people get involved in programming right. earlier, even though you didn't get involved with it until yeah. later in life. So as you look to some of the, the people using your application, girls and boys, how is it that you encourage people to think differently about computer science, get excited about computer science, you know, take that first uh, chance and try yeah. programming to get the hook? What advice do you give to people? How do you kind of guide, you know, your um, <laughs> the little the little sister looking up at you yeah. saying, Listen, "How do I get uh, involved?" No, I think I think it kind of seems scary sometimes, especially since software is so much around us. It's so it looks so sophisticated on a phone. You think there's no way I can do this, um, but there are so many resources online um, that reduces the barrier to entry. And even some of my my cousin who's starting, she's seven years old. Um, how to program using one of the tools that I created online. Um, I just, I just think you can, you can just research the the different tools that are out there and go for it. Um, the great thing about the computer science community is that I found that so many people are willing to share their knowledge, and uh, I find that I, whenever I see um, kids who are interested in in uh, bu potentially building these applications, I get so excited. I'm like, oh, how can I help? Do you do you understand? Um, um, and I try to explain it in a way that they can understand it when, when they run that first line of code, that first hello world, or they create a drag and drop game or something. It right. Gets you so excited. And, and how, do they, how, do, <laughs> how do they get over the ones that are saying, oh, I'm, not, I'm not smart enough, I'm not cool, you know, it's, it's not the cool thing. You know, how do you help them kind of break through that and, and really just give it yeah. a try, knowing that if they, if they give it a shot, chances are they'll probably get hooked. Yeah, I think. Um, I use, often use my story as well that I didn't get into it until until really recently, and I just I just dove into it. And um, I think when they see role models or other people who are doing it, they naturally become curious and want to try it out as well. And um, especially when when they're young, um, if they see one friend who's making like a heart, they're making a heart simulation or something like that, they they get excited. I'm like, oh, I want to make that. How do you make that? And they start helping each other. It's it's really exciting. All right, Alicia. So you're in town for a couple of days. You're going to see San Francisco. Hopefully, see the yeah. sights before you go back to Canada. <laughs> right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, congratulations again on your award. Uh, I think you had a big presentation tonight. I'm sure you will knock it out of the park. Thank and, you. <laughs> uh, and we'll see you in in uh, in Houston in October. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right, Alicia. The the student Women Division Award winner here at the Anita Borg Institute Women Division Award banquet. We're excited to be here. I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching the Cube.